Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here at Comic-Con 2019. And this year, our friend Tom Spina's here as well. Tom, how are you doing? Hi, Norm, it's so great to see you, man. Yeah, it's great that you guys have a booth to show off some of the stuff from Regal Robot, your company. And you have some of the pieces here. What do you have showing off? Uh, so we've got uh, a nice space in the Lucasfilm Pavilion where we're showing off things like our custom characters, we're showing off busts, we're showing off decor, a little tchotchke things for your desk, and, and just, you know, all the crazy cool Star Wars stuff that we dream up. So I saw at Celebration this year, you guys had the Chewie head on, yeah. on sale, and something that, you know, you've worked on for Lucasfilm, yeah, Adam yeah. has that one as well, yeah. he loves it, one of his favorite things, uh, but it was also available now? To consumers? Yeah, it was super exciting. Like, we had the chance to say, like, you know, we've done all this work on Chewie, all this research, all this information that we've absorbed. I mean, you know how Adam is when he goes into a project. We're the same way. It's like, I want to soak up everything about this. And it's just a million little details that you can figure out. And once we figured it out, we said, like, you know, no one's ever done a Chewbacca bust proper for folks to buy. You know, there have been some things here and there, but you know, certainly not in the last 20 plus years. So we said, let's do, you know, just the ultimate Chewy one-to-one -one bust. And we've brought one here, but the edition sold out in a week. Uh, so we only made 50 of them. We're making them uh, in the New York studio, right where you guys have been shooting. Yep. Uh, all the same crew are working on them. And uh, I'm just, I'm really thrilled that, you know, uh, 50 people are now gonna be bringing this into their homes and it's a little piece of art that we made. Absolutely, and not only are you doing busts, but also it sounds like full characters as well. Yeah. So tell me about this piece and what it represents in the uh, Regal Robot collection. So for us, it's not just um, product. It's also the idea of the custom studio as really a service. So we give folks the chance to come to us and say, well, my favorite character is Muftak from the Cantina, and no one's ever going to do a statue of that and try and sell 100 or 1,000 or 10,000 of that. Uh, and we're a, t a small enough shop that we can say, hey, you know what? You want one of that, as long as you can you know, uh, come in, discuss it with us, pay the development, like we'll create a single piece for you. Or we'll we'll look at it and say, you know what, that's something maybe other people might want to uh, want as well. So maybe we'll do a small run of something like that. Mm. And uh, we're nimble. We're this, this little shop that can kind of turn on a dime and we love all of it. You know, there's no character from Star Wars someone's gonna come up and ask for where we'll be like, ah, oh, really, that? Like, no, we're, no matter what you say, we're like, yes, please. And it's boutique, it's made to order. You're working with collectors who want to decide on the pose or the, the way you're working with the fur. So for Chewbacca, we did a life-size Chewy that we had at Celebration and that was made for one of our clients. We've since done another one that was delivered and we have four more that are in the works. But each one is a little bit unique. They have a different, some have the mouth open, some closed, some have the bow caster, some are in a different pose. And it gives us a chance to talk to people and learn about their space, learn what they're into, learn their favorite scenes. You know, maybe they want his hair to look more like the first movie than the second movie. Or maybe they want that floppy hair from Return of the Jedi. And I love that part. I love getting on the phone with these, these guys that want, and girls that want a custom piece and just figuring out like, what is it about Star Wars that ignites their passion? Yeah. What are the elements that speak to them? Because, like I said, we love it all. So it sparks us, and we then start brainstorming with the customer, and then on our own. And at the end, we want end up making something nobody would have ever thought to make, because you know these people hadn't come together yet. And it's really it's it's a cool process. Well, not only is there the authenticity because you have a Lucasfilm license to make this, so these are official Star Wars products, that's why you're here in the booth as well, but also you get access to some of the originals because you're doing restoration oftentimes exactly. on these originals. So Muftak might actually come through your shop, the original. And Muftak did come through our shop. So we restored Muftak for Bob and Kathy Burns a few years back. And we had done a Muftak uh, costume for a Super Bowl commercial we did years ago. And it was neat to see our costume side by side with the real one and to figure out like, oh, okay, this is what we didn't get 100% right. And that's the stuff we dialed in for this one. And it's just so cool to be able to um, draw from that experience we have. It's not, you know, the license comes with access to things like the archives and photos that no one else gets to see. And, you know, sometimes even 3D assets and stuff like that. But 
we've been restoring for collectors for decades now, so we have this huge network of people that have props that no one even knows are out there. So, you know, when we did the Chewy, we had access to teeth that were used on the real uh, mask and a scan of one of the skins that we could use and then rework in, a, in clay, and I actually did the sculpt on that bust, you know, to take all of this stuff that we built over all of these years and to now be able to offer it to people, it's just, it's really cool. I just feel lucky I have the chance to do it. Well, it's awesome to see you here at Comic-Con. Are there hints as to what other things you guys are working on in the future, in the furniture space, in the display space, in the creature space? Yeah, so we've got our little gargoyle magnet. I'm gonna grab one. So this is our little convention exclusive. We had this at Celebration and at this show um, that uh, is based on the, the gargoyles that are on the bottom of Jabba the Hutt's dais. Well, we thought if we made this bigger, this would actually be a really nice towel ring. <laughs> so we're making a towel ring out of this, like a towel holder. And we're also working on a door knocker that's real metal oh, that's that you awesome. can put on your front door. And like, no one's gonna know this is Star Wars when they look at it on your front door, but you know, and it's like, uh-huh. Um, and then on the character side of it, we have a couple of busts in the works. We have CZ-3, which is one of the droids, yep. which someone requested as a custom piece. Uh, and that was a perfect example of one of those ones where it made sense to say, you know what, I think there'll be another 10 or 15 people that'll want this. So instead of charging one person all the money that it would take to develop a single piece, let's bill it as like a regular inline item. And so we're gonna do a run of those. And then um, we just announced today, just a few hours ago, uh, we're going to do a bronze bust, uh, either bronze look like we do with this where we hand paint it, or even real bronze might be an option uh, of uh, Peter Cushing as Grand Moff Tarkin. Oh, very cool. I, he is my favorite actor of all time. I'm a huge fan of all the old Hammer horror movies. The man elevates every movie he's in no matter how bad it is. And I thought, I've wanted to do a bronze for a while. And I thought, here's a character in the universe that it actually, his status makes sense that he would even have yeah. a bronze. Yeah. So we said, let's let's start there. Let's see where this goes. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to sculpt on that. I love your enthusiasm. Love your and your team's contributions to the maker and Star Wars community. It's great to see you here, Tom. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure seeing you. And just, uh, yeah, thanks for helping tell people what we do.